My name is Genesis. Welcome to another wonderful day at Sher Monty. Today is Tuesday, January 26, 2021. Please join me in standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. You may be seated. <laughs> Let's see what's cooking in the cafeteria for lunch today. Southern style, southern, southern style chicken bites or buffalo, buffalo's chicken chunks with cheese it, cheese it cheddar crackers or Cuban. Reuben. Reuben sandwich, assorted fruit cups, crispy tater top, assorted low fat milk. Birthday wishes go out to We have no fur we have no birthdays at Sherman today. Hope we all have a great day. In sports news The Lightning take the Lightning were supposed to take the ice again tonight at 7 o'clock versus, versus the Carolina Hurricanes. But due to COVID within the Carolina team, the game has been postponed. The weather outside your classroom today will include our weather our weather to continue to warm up. We may reach as high as 81 degrees later today. Oh wait, next let's see what's happening at Sharon Monte today. I'm in back room, yes. Eight o'clock to nine o'clock, kindergarten I ready testing in the classroom and media center. Today's theme is reading gives you superpowers. We'll be looking for your superhero t-shirt. Do, don't forget to read with a family member tonight and enter your coupon for a chance to win $20 to spend at the book fair. Tomorrow's theme is read my shirt Wait, what? Yeah, read my shirt. Wear shirts with writing on them. Three o'clock to six o'clock, youth mental health training is in the media center. Finally, we have some additional information from Ms. Gartner. <laughs> Thank you for that wonderful introduction. And I've got my Wonder Woman shirt on. It's giving me some superpowers for today. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing some of the other shirts out there today. All right, um, we had our first set of trivia questions yesterday, and one of my crew, Miss Brianna there in the back, you can't see her, but I can, um, was one of my winners. So here we go today for our new set of questions. And remember, um, answers are written on just scraps of paper, post-it notes, or whatever in the classroom, and then teachers send kids over to drop them off in the baskets on the table outside of my office. Um, at any time during the day and I will draw go through them and draw out a winner in the afternoon um, I'm not in the library a whole lot on Tuesdays lots of classes So I don't need to be here. Just come in drop them off. You're good to go All right kindergarten and first grade here we go um, Who is curious George's best friend? Who is curious George's best friend this this uh, individual is in every one of the books with curious George all right, second and third grade. This goes back to the um, read across America or a jumpstart read that I read in here. Why is Evelyn Del Rey upset? I read a book about a girl named Evelyn Del Rey and it's in the title. I can't tell you the title of the book because it would give away the answer. Why is Evelyn Del Rey upset or sad? All right, and for my friends in here, Miss Madeline, you're gonna jump all over this question. Oh, Harry Potter. Where does the Dursley family live in the Harry Potter series? Did I say the last name right? 
Where does the Dursley family live in the Harry Potter series? Miss Parker, why? All right, I Google it. Get a book. I'm sure it's in the beginning of most of the books. You can find that answer. All right, good luck, everybody, and I will be back with you guys at the end of the day. Miss Orlando is here, probably with some attendance news for you all. Hi guys, guess what? Me and Miss Kirkman are cousins. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so, hey, Wonder Women. <laughs> so, in the office, you'll see a big, big board with lots of these on it. And what this is, is these are our pop and attendance <laughs> days. And so you see Miss Hoffman here, and it started yesterday. So the reason there's a popcorn here is because Miss Hoffman had perfect attendance and uh, I think she had one tardy. So here's the deal. When your class gets perfect attendance, uh, perfect attendance for that day, you get a popcorn on that square. And once your class hits 10, 